What's going on YouTube? Big Jer, back with you guys again. Today, we're going to be talking about the first thing everyone should have on their mastering chain. Let's find out what it is and how to do it. See you there. So what plugin am I talking about? Well, it's my buddy, the glue compressor. But we're going to be using it in a different way than we've been using it. Um, we're actually going to be using it as a glue compressor, and we're going to be taking advantage of this EQ section right here. I'll show you what I mean. But first, let's take a listen to this uh, little 30-second uh, section that I got here. It's just a small track that I've been working on. We'll listen to the build, into the drop, and then I'll show you the power of this um, glue compressor on your master used in this way. All right, let's check this out. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, no big deal. Just a little vocal juggle there. But let's talk about the power of this glue compressor. Okay, cool. So here's the deal, right? We're making bass music, whether it's dubstep or trap or hip hop. Either way, modern music has a very low sub, very high energy, low, powerful sub. And, you know, that's great. And we love that. I love that. But, you know, we have to have our music compete with that. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go over here, right, and I turn off this glue compressor, notice how much bigger the sub is. In fact, when I say bigger, I don't mean louder because it's not any louder. It's the same volume as it was before. But notice how now the sub is the front thing. And we don't really, we don't want that at the end of the day. So um, I'm going to kind of toggle back and forth here. And notice that when this is off, the sub is really kind of at the forefront of the mix. Um, and when I turn it back on, notice how the music kind of sits a little bit on top now of the sub. Let me show you what I mean again. Let me just jump right into the drop for you too. Here we go. And I'll just kind of turn the master. Here we go. It's a huge difference. It's one of those very subtle things that, you know, you might have tried to fix this in your master by compressing your sub, but we're going to actually do the opposite of that, okay? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to turn this on. In fact, you know what? Let's just uh, delete this and build this from the ground up so there's no um, confusion, okay? I'm going to go ahead here, grab myself a glue compressor, and here we go, right? So I'm going to open up this... Um, this arrow, and this is usually the sidechain mode, but we're not gonna use sidechain, right? We're gonna use this EQ. Now, this is interesting. Um, when sidechain's on, and then I turn the EQ on, this is how we tell the compressor that we're like, hey, you know, don't listen to the whole, you know, kick with, when we're sidechaining. Listen to, you know, everything above, you know, 1.8K. You know what I'm saying? So this is kind of, filtering out what the what the compressor sees when side chaining. But if I turn this off, then this filters out frequencies that shouldn't be compressed. So what I want to do, right, is I do want to have it on um, low cut. Again, we're not cutting out lows in the song. We're just cutting out what the compressor can see. And I want to bring this up to like 150. Uh, if this was more of a dubstep song, I'd probably have this down at around 100, so I didn't cut off any of those um, low bass growls or whatever. But since this song is mostly just a vocal chop and uh, 808, um, I could take it up to 150, no problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my attack down one click and my release up one click. Okay, this uh, usually works around this tempo for me. 
And I'm going to leave it on a four to one ratio because I don't want to get that much compression. I'm just trying to, again, here, I want to say everything below 150, you're cool, chill. Everything above 150, I'm going to want to get about 3 dB of compression and then raise that up. So it's going to actually sit that on top of the sub now, okay? So what I'm going to do is simply pull on my threshold until I get some reduction, and then I'm going to make that reduction up, okay? So here we go. Oh, by the way, you should always be doing this on a part where the most energy is, so it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be wise to set it here where there is no sub, and then when this comes in, you know, it'll just be totally different. Okay, cool. So I'm going to bring over here and we'll start setting this. So that looks like that looks like it's around 3 dB of compression. So then I'm going to just make that up right here. One, two, and three. You see what I'm trying to say? Perfect. Um, check this out too. Uh, why not just compress it with the sub, Jer? Well, you know what? Look at what happens here. So we've got, when we take out the sub or, or up, up to 100, and our sub, right? Our low energy, uh, up, up to 153 hertz. Um, when I, when I turn this off and I just compress the whole signal, look at what happens to this, um, look at what happens to this meter here. Look at how much it jumps up, right? I mean, you're getting another like three, four dB of compression, and that's all sub. So you have to think about how big those sub waves are. Um, and when you run them through a compressor like that with the rest of the song, you know, they're the ones that are actually getting the most compression, you know, especially um, when it's not like a, a peak compressor like this is not. Um, so, you know, by rolling this off, we're able to focus in on what we want to compress, and that way we can now get a better differential between our low-end energy and, and the rest of our music. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. This is something that I like to do on all my tracks, okay? So anytime you have that low 808 or that low sub, give this a try. I think this will become uh, a staple in your mastering chain. If you guys found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. We got to get those, uh, those followers up so I can keep helping you guys. All right. Catch you soon. See ya.